Hello, my name is Lee Lecter, welcome you to this video series where we're taking a look at getting up and running with Substance Painter. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can start to chip away the red paint to expose the steel below and also how to restrict the overall material to only be applied to the areas in which we want. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to the fill layer that says red paints. We need to right click on here and we're going to go ahead and choose add white mask. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and select the white mask and make sure you are selecting the white mask and not the paint fill. So let's go ahead and select the white mask. And what we want to do is we want to right click and we want to go ahead and choose add generator. What this does, this adds a procedural generator that's going to allow us to make it appear as if this uh, paint has been worn down. So with the generator selected, let's go over to this option right here that says generator. I'm going to click here and you can see that we have a bunch of options in which um in which we can apply different types of generators what i want to do is i want to go ahead and choose the generator builder which is going to deliver, give us the uh, best control here let's go ahead and select this and as you can see straight away what this does is it has masked away all of the red with the exceptions of the areas in the middle uh, sorry on the edges not in the middle what we want to do is we want to go ahead and invert that so what we can do is we can go over here so it says invert and when we do that you can see that now we have inverted that and you can see that we have the steel exposed on the edges now we do have access to certain options here which we can control that so we control the level which is going to control how much uh, that is actually being affected we have the contrast and by playing around with this we're going to get uh, either a sharper or, or less sharp effect so if I push this up a little and then I push the sharpness you can see what that does so it's going to pull this down a little bit and you can see we can go ahead and play around with some of these values you see we can add less or more grunge if we want um we can deal with the ambient occlusion and so on and so forth and another important one here is this option that says scratches so by increasing this we're going to get more scratches and so on and so forth so with that said you can see that now we have this red paint and it looks as if the um it has been worn and we can see the steel below but if you remember correctly, when we set this up in 3ds Max, well, there's areas of this mesh that, that shouldn't really be receiving this red paint. For example, these screws or these little steel areas right here, uh, the chain, for example, and so on and so forth. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and look at how we can restrict that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to the top here to our uh, folder. We're going to right click again. We're going to go ahead and choose add white mask and then we're going to go ahead and select that white mask we're going to right click and we're going to go to the option that says add mask with color selection once we do that we can go over to the right hand side here you can see here that now we have our id mask if we go ahead and under the section here that says colors if we select pick color we can then go ahead and pick the color in which we only want this red paint uh, material and steel to be applied to so we can either select the actual texture or if we want to we can go ahead and select the model now in my particular case i'm going to go ahead and select the model so now you can see that the material has been applied only to the area that had been selected um so with that said that's the very basics of how we can add a uh a the, the uh restrict and add a generator to our asset i'd like to thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like until next time thank you for watching